Welcome to the setup and installation overview for the R745 tire changer from Ranger. In this video, we'll show you everything you'll need to know about unboxing and setup so that you can get to work in no time. For full detailed instructions, please refer to your owner's manual. The R745 is fastened to a pallet and crated. At the bottom of the crate, use a pry bar or a hammer to push the metal tabs all the way down on all four sides. You may have to apply some force to get all the metal tabs free. Once you have them all down, go ahead and lift the cover off. The cover is awkward to handle, so you may need two people to move it. Next, go ahead and remove the plastic wrapped around the tire changer and the other components. Afterwards, you'll remove the accessory package. Keep the contents safely off to the side where they won't get in your way. Both the tower and swing arm come uninstalled. You'll need to remove them from where they're secured on the shipping pallet. You'll notice that the tower comes secured to the shipping pallet in several locations. The shaft near the mount demount head is tied to a bolt on the cabinet. Carefully remove all the components that are keeping the tower secure. Keep the bolt and washer that is holding the shaft nearby. You'll need it later. Next, stand the tower and move the base over the tire changer cabinet, lining up the four holes in the base over the four large holes in the top of the cabinet. Remember to carefully handle the tower as it is heavy. You'll want to orient the tower so that the mount demount head is over the turntable. Use four bolt washer pairs to securely bolt the tower into position on top of the cabinet. Now that you have installed the tire changer's tower, you just need to remove the shipping bolts that are holding the tire changer to the pallet. To move the tire changer and into its permanent location, strap it using an appropriate lifting device, such as a forklift, shop crane, or pallet jack. We recommend using at least two people when moving the tire changer. Afterwards, you can then remove any extra plastic wrapping. You're now ready to connect your Mars 745 to an air source. You'll have to connect the air source to the air and connector on the lubricator regulator filter, which is located on the back. The air lines going out of the regulator filter and oiler lubricator come connected and ready for use, so no installation or adjustment is required. This tire changer requires a 15 to 25 CFM air source with an operating air pressure of 140 to 165 PSI. The R745 uses pneumatic and electrical energy. If your organization has lockout tagout policies, implement them once the unit is connected to the air source. Next, we'll be connecting the R745 to a source of power. The switch is located on the right side of the unit, behind the lube bucket. The R745 can be configured for a 110 VAC power source or 220 VAC power source as desired. For more information, please refer to the manual. You're almost done. Next, go ahead and clean up extra shipping grease. To check for pneumatic power, step on and hold the front clamp pedal, and the clamps should move. The clamps are pneumatically operated. Next, check for electric power by stepping on the turntable pedal. If set up correctly, the table should begin turning. We recommend mounting the R745 to the floor for optimal performance. Refer to the manual for more information. Be sure to review and perform any necessary tests, as well as familiarize yourself with the operating procedures before beginning normal operation. We hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Thanks for watching.